Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to this Spotfire tutorial brought to you by DataFuel. My name is Kyle Amata and today I'll be talking about standard deviation. In this video, I'll spend a couple minutes briefly explaining what standard deviation is, how to calculate it, and why it's important. And then in the second part of this video series, I'll go over several examples of standard deviation within TIPCO Spotfire. The topic for this video was actually submitted by a blog reader and the what do you want to learn about form in the sidebar of the blog. If you have a question, you can submit it through this form and then I'll get an email with your idea, which I can then answer and share through a blog post. If you'd like to download the Excel file shown in this video, visit the link in the notes below. Okay, so first off, what is standard deviation? The long definition, which I pulled from Wikipedia, is shown on the screen. In statistics, the standard deviation is a measure that is used to quantify the amount of variation or dispersion of a set of data values. A low standard deviation indicates that the data points tend to be close to the mean, also called the expected value, while a high standard deviation indicates that the data points are spread out over a wider range of values. So in other words, standard deviation explains how close a data point is to the overall average. To calculate standard deviation, first you're going to calculate the mean or the average of the entire data set. Next, subtract the mean from every data point within the data set and then square that result. We square it to eliminate any negative values. And then we'll take the average of all of those squared differences, which is called the variance. And finally, to calculate the standard deviation of the data set, just take the square root of the variance. The units for variance are the same units as the data, but squared. So for example, if the units were in dollars, then the variance would be in dollars squared. Obviously, that's not a real thing, so we need to take the square root to fix the units. So now let me pull up Excel, and I can show this calculation in action. In this example, I've got 24 data points, which we'll use to calculate the standard deviation. The first step is to take the average of all of the data points. So I'll use the average function, highlight all these data points, and then hit enter. And then we're going to take the difference between each data point and the overall average. And then after we take the difference, we're going to square the result and copy that down for each data point in our data set. So I'll just check a couple of these to show that each one is uh, the actual value minus the average. And next, we'll calculate the variance by taking the average of all of these difference squared values. And finally, we'll simply calculate the standard deviation by taking the square root of the variance. And we can check the standard deviation by using the built-in Excel function, which is stdev.p for this entire data set. And we can see that these numbers are exactly the same, so we know that the standard deviation calculation was done correctly. Now that we know how to calculate it, what does the standard deviation actually describe about the data? Well, I've plotted some data points on a histogram to show this data's distribution. And the distribution is just a measure of how frequently the different data points or groups of data points occur in a sample. Histograms are a great way to show how data is distributed. And to make a histogram, we'll just simply group the data points together based on their values and then count the number of occurrences for each group. This can easily be done in Spotfire using the auto bin function on a category axis using a bar chart. Next, I plotted a line for the average value of the data set, which is shown as the vertical black line. And then I calculated the standard deviation and added that standard deviation to each side of the mean. This is shown as the dotted line. So the dotted line to the right is the mean or average value plus one standard deviation and the dotted line on the left is the mean value minus one standard deviation. For most data that's normally distributed, about 68% of the data is within one standard deviation of the mean. And about 95% of the data is within two standard deviations of the mean. Any data point that's outside about two or two and a half standard deviations is generally considered a statistical outlier. 
And finally, about 99.7, or pretty much all of the data, is within three standard deviations of the mean. And we can keep going from there, but for this data set, I'm just going to stop with three standard deviations. So that's my statistics one-on-one -on -one lesson for the day. Now let's move on to some examples of how to use standard deviation in Spotfire. I'm going to cover these examples in the second part of this series, so if you're watching this before part two is published, be sure to check back on May 17th or you can subscribe to my YouTube channel to automatically be alerted when new videos are published. I hope this first part was a good introduction to, or a refresher of, standard deviation for you. If you want to download the Excel files from the video, don't forget to visit the blog page linked in the notes below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.